everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. So this is the unboxing video for kit number nine. Now I know we're already on kit 11. That one is currently still available. That's the Christina Griffin one and I've already done the unboxing for that. But this one just came to me late. So I know that you can no longer get this one because it's a subscription box anyway. So um, it's already gone out to everybody. But I always like to do the unboxing videos for those of you that may be are thinking about joining the Papercraft Society or it's just a nice catalogue for me as well to remember kind of what was in them so I can look back on my videos. So we'll have a look through this and then what I thought I'd do is I show you all of the other ones just kind of how I have them, my ink cubes, just kind of give you an idea of what you can get because we're nearly on well yeah 12 so that we would have nearly had a whole year of the Papercraft Society kits so um, again it's something that maybe some of you might want to start up for the next year and um, yeah, you can just get a bit more of an idea about these kits so you always get them in this box here I actually end up flat, pack flat packing the boxes and using them just to send you know anything that I need to and I'm, all I do is I keep the envelopes inside and I store the ink cubes in my ink cube storage which I'll show you in a moment so this one's been designed by Olga, who is the designer of Paper Discovery. So you open it up, and inside this one it says, music is timeless, use this versatile kit to make cards all year round. So here is your envelope, you get, you get this in every single box. The patterns on the front is always an indication of the papers and the colours and the tones and stuff that's inside. And then you get your tissue paper there, and that's filled with some other bits and pieces which we'll look at in a moment. So first of all, we'll go into this here. So you can share everything that you make, hashtag Papercraft Society, so the guys there will see everything. And then we'll open this one up. So we have our papers. So we've got here this beautiful floral. It's really sweet, very, very um, soft colors there. Then we've got this one here, and this is another good thing about this one, is there's a real, mix of masculine and feminine papers so it's a great one to be able to make those you know cards for, for everybody really so here you've got i like the way that it's like the coffee stain rings or tea stain rings you've got your music notes and you've got sheet paper there in the background as well so you get two of that one then you've got some sheet music here so this is hamlet obviously you don't have to have that there if you don't want it you've just got some nice papers and then you have your wood grain and that will make sense in a moment when I show you the dies. Two of those. And then the vellum is the specialty papers in this one. So you've got two with the music notes covering the whole piece. And then this one here, you can see it's like a, a wave of sheet music there, which looks really nice as well. So lots of lovely papers to get started with. Then your stamp set, and this is my favourite. And you can see here you've got these really large let me flip over one of these papers here all the papers are always white coarse so you can do some really nice techniques with that so if I just flip this one over you can see look how wonderful they are I have no stamps like this at all so I'm super pleased to get this so you've got um, got to get it right now you've got your trumpet your saxophone your flute your clarinet sorry that's not a flute that's a recorder the flute is, there isn't a flute on this one. That's your, your clarinet, because my sister used to play the clarinet. And then this one here, trombone, possibly. And then you have this lovely circle of the music notes. And then you've got strings here, which will make sense, and the here. So you can turn with the dies, you can have a violin, a guitar, and a cello, I believe, and a bass as well. You've got here, of love and of thanks, but then you have a note. So you can have a note of thanks, a note of love, a note to wish you well, and then you've got happy birthday. And you've got all these separate little stamps here as well. It's a really lovely one. So and we've got here the dies. So again, I'll keep that paper out because I think it's quite easy for you to be able to see the dies better. So, so here, here's your main kind of guitar or cello bass you know whatever it is you want to kind of make from this I guess it wouldn't really be a bass guitar it'd be more the cello and the, and the guitar but you've got that one there then you've got this one here which will make a violin and then you've got all these pieces and this one here makes the the bow to be able to you know play the the instrument you've got this one here which is your piano keys and that will make sense in a minute with the embossing folder then you've got this piece here which you can change on the top of here or here. And then this one's a lovely big circle die with the music note. And then you have the die there that actually says just a note. 
this one. And then all these bits here will decorate. So that will, if you die cut that in black and die cut this in wood, it will give you that, that lovely pattern that you see on guitars. And you've got some roses here and flowers. Love these ones with the notes. You can just die cut, you know, a lot of those and, and decorate. And then you've got the other one there. And you've got that one, which is just like what's on the paper. And you've got a nice corner die there as well. But even all these details, when I was using these for the samples, so these here you cut into this. And then if you back it with some black, it'll look like, you know, it's like that hollow effect. And then you've got all these dies here. There's so much detail. And um, again, you know, those of you that have got it would have looked at the inspiration. And I'll show you the whole inspiration again, just so that those that are ever kind of thinking about doing these kits, I just think it's nice to see these unboxings because you can really get a feel for what you get. And I just love that they're so different every month. Then there's the embossing folder. So you've got your keyboard, piano, and then you've got more sheet music there as well to do some nice effects. So that's everything in the envelope. So this one we're, we're quite spoiled actually. So we've got embossing powder, gold. We've got three ink cubes, which are all those kind of brown, perfect autumnal colours now as well. And they're hybrid inks, so you can use them with your watercolours and your alcohol markers. And um, you can create obviously great effects with those. And then here you've got all of these music notes. Aren't they wonderful? I've got nothing like that at all. And there's some nice shaker card ideas, but just to have those, I mean, I'm sure there's going to be people watching and I know that a lot of people, you know, that did subscribe for this kit were saying, you know, they've got lots of, you know, family members who play musical instruments and um, they're really enjoying it. So you always get these little information cards. So this one says it's never too late to pick up a musical instrument or to make a music themed card. And that's very true. And actually, I would love to learn the saxophone. So I used to play the violin. So I know the violin basically if I got it now it would take me a while to get back into it but I played the violin but I'd love to learn the saxophone but I don't think my neighbours would do be too pleased with me playing it here so if I was going to do it I'd have to kind of well obviously I'd have a, a teacher teaching me but I would I don't think I'd be able to do it actually here but um, it's something that I've always been interested in so yeah it's never too late so I think I'm hoping I will actually do that so here's Olga so she's the one that designed this kit and we'll have a little look here again I think it's nice for people to see exactly what you get so you always have kind of a welcome a little information about what to expect in your kit You've got your contents there. You can see some of the cards that have been made. And then it gives you everything that's in the kit. And it tells you exactly, you know, about it all. So if you are a little bit unsure, then, you know, that's nice to have that all there. I'll show you all the coordinating card stock in a minute because that's what I've got underneath the booklet. And then you start to get into your instructions for the cards that they're in here. So this one is that shaker. And you can see just how wonderful that violin looks there. And this is what I mean about these pieces here, all this detail. It's just, it's really been thought out and it's just a simple make there with the vellum and again the music notes behind and then you've got that lovely circle die and the just a note there. And then there's always a little kind of interview, five minutes with the designer. And then there's this one here and you can download the template for this one. And this is to make this wonderful piano easel. And you can see there, you can die cut, that's those um, keys in the black there on the embossing folder so you get a really raised um, kind of dimension and texture to the card and I love how Nikki's used the music sheet paper there underneath the piano I think that's a really really nice effect such a special card I think it's just wonderful and I like that there's the template there and then she gives you all step-by-step -step instructions and then I done this one here so as always I had to color in those stamped images so I've done this easel card and I've used the piano along the bottom there as your kind of wedge to keep the the easel well, there's an easel stepper card that I've done and um, I really enjoyed that one it was it was nice to do and I've used the sheet music behind and then it's just a note of thanks and then you just lift up that and then you can write your message and then again you've got the template there that I designed for you to be able to download and then I've done this easel card and I used the cardstock um, in the kit and then I distressed over it so I embossed it with the embossing folder quite a few times because you only get two rows of the sheet music in the embossing folder so I just went through just moved the embossing folder along this circle piece and then I went over it lightly sanded off the top layer so you get the white core of the cardstock popping through and then I just kind of you know decorated it with all the bits and pieces and that's another way of doing the violin you can see your bow there to play it and I've done the top pieces there in the gold and um, that one is a note to wish you well again really really nice card to do and then it usually gives you kind of what's new within that designer's collection. So there's some of Olga's stuff. 
This one here, this has been done by Olga. So she stamped the background using the stamped images there and coloured them using the inks. And she shows you that all in the step by step. And she's used the gold embossing powder there for the, the trombone. I'm sure it's a trombone. And then some more, so again, some simple makes. And I think what she's done there, she's literally got the ink cube and just brushed it, swiped it across the paper to give you that really simple effect, but it looks lovely. And then there are the stamps for the little music notes and she's used the saxophone there. This one I like, there's quite a lot going on with that one, lots of layers. And she's embossed, heat embossed the embossing folder of the, the, the sheet music there. So that's, it's got quite a lot of texture to it as well. This one here, this is a good idea. So this is using like a record. So it looks like a turntable there. And then you've got the guitar. So again, there's that black piece there that I was saying about, and they look like actual real pieces of string that have been added onto that one. So again, that's a really nice effect. And that's been done by Emma. And Emma's also done this one here. And you can see there's the cello, turning it into a cello. And you've got the piece there to add, which is your, the stand, I guess, isn't it? It's what it's rested on. And then she's die cut the bow there in gold. I think that looks really nice and use that lovely floral paper in the background hello cello <laughs> and then you yeah you get like the top five favorite products by the designer and then there we all are so and then at the back here we finish with some quick makes carol usually does a lot of the quick makes um i just love the piano i really really just think it's again it's just something so different and um some more i like the way that she's cut that in there she's cut just that piece out from the vellum and then she's heat embossed a note to wish you well. And then she's used the flowers there, so it almost creates like a, a musical wreath effect, which I like. I think that's really nice as well. And then she's stamped over that Hamlet sheet music and distressed it with the colours of the ink cubes there on the corner, which I think looks really nice as well. And then you just get a few bits and pieces at the back. So that's what to expect in your booklets there. You always get so much stuff inspiration and everything and then these are your coordinating card stocks which i put into the envelope so these are all white core so you can create nice effects so you've got two in that kind of orangey kind of orangey yellow color i think then there's the black and then you've got two in that lovely gold color it's gorgeous really really lovely so that's your card stock okay so that is everything in that kit and then what I'll show you here, because I can move these cubes now. So I have, this is my ink cube storage, which I made on my channel. So there is a full tutorial on how to make this here. And I love it. And I just pull the drawers out the top here. And this is full of all my Paper Craft Society cubes. So, you know, over the months, I do have a few more than you would, because sometimes we have kept we've been able to keep the supplies that have been sent to us when we've made samples. So I maybe have a few doubles, but you know, you get three in nearly all the kits. Some kits you don't, depends what the designer decides to put in them, but now I can add these. Uh, nice to get some more browner colors. I have quite a few of the greens, but again, some of those are doubles because I would have been sent it to do the samples and then I got sent it again when I actually got the kit. So you can see those ones there, I think. No, they're, they're, sorry, they're doubles there and they're doubles. They're slightly different shades. So they're, um, there is, you know, all the colours are always different. Yeah, there's just loads. So that, again, just, I think when you start to see the collection, so if you get your first kit and you've got three ink cubes, you know, it's kind of like, okay, I've got three, but it soon accumulates. They soon start to add up. And um, I think, well, I'm hoping now, because I think we need, need some reds. So with the Christmas boxes now all coming, so I know Helen's has just come out. If you like Nutcrackers, and um, wreaths and Christmas in general, then check out Helen's because that's the current one that you, you can subscribe to. And um, I'm not sure if there's ink cubes in that one actually, I need to check it out. So um, yeah, need some reds, need some, need some like more blues I think. Yeah, we need some blues. There's lots of like green kind of, yeah. I think we could do some real like sky blues and things like that. So who knows, let's see what comes. But yes, that just gives you kind of um, an idea, you know, how that all looks. Okay, so there are all of my envelopes. So they literally sit on my shelf like this, so I can see all the numbers along the side and I'm gonna pop today's one will go in here. So that will complete it. And then number 12, which will be Helen's, like I said, that's the one now. And it's just so nice sometimes, I think if you're a little bit unsure, you know, what should I make today? Then you can just take this out and inside everything you need is in there and your booklet. So if you, whether you wanna do a quick, simple make, you know, or do something a little bit, you know, 
dimensional 3D, it's up to you because this one here makes a gable box, you've got the whole gable box die there. So you know, each, like I said, each designer will offer something different and um, you can dip in and out, you don't have to subscribe for every one, you can just subscribe month to month, you have to cancel it each time but um, it's very easy to just dip in and out, which I know lots of people do. They'd rather just subscribe to one that they know that they're really going to enjoy. And um, I just like to have them all because they're just all a bit different and my, my kind of mood and style will change, you know, from week to week, really. So I just, yeah, I thought kind of if I just show you everything so far, because like I said, we're nearly at a year now of the Papercraft Society. So if anybody is thinking about maybe starting a different kit next year or just wanting to try something different, you may be just getting into card making. I think this is a really nice way. I think kits in general are really good if you're starting off because you don't need too much stuff. Everything is obviously given to you in the kit. Um, so it's a great way to, you know, start building your stash. So uh, yeah, hopefully you've um, liked this a little bit more of an in-depth kind of look into the Papercraft Society. Share the links below so you can see your delivery options, your subscription options, and then you can kind of take it from there. Like, thanks for watching. Bye.